Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games and in this episode we play Afterburner. Sega Tengen 1989. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now we've got another fighter jet. Fighter fighter pilot fighter jet. I don't know how to classify it. At least we're not in the cockpit. Okay, so B appears to be heat seeking missiles. And was it a double tap? No. If you, I don't know how I did the barrel roll at first. Okay, I think if you hold. Okay, I'm holding right right now, and it's just steering. So maybe it's holding a direction. Okay, yeah. If you if you double tap once, you're completely steering in that direction. Then you you appear to to do a barrel roll. Wow, that's a lot of fire for landing on the water. Let me, let me double check that. Right, right. No, maybe not double tap. Still haven't figured it out yet. Holding right. No. Down. No. I still don't know exactly how I did a barrel roll. That's okay. I don't seem to have many missiles on my tail. I think it just kind of initiates a barrel roll if you have someone... Well, I was going to say on, on your tail, but then that kind of disproved it right as I was talking there. It did a barrel roll with nobody around. Alright. I kind of like this third-person view a little bit better than a cockpit view on most of those other games. Wow. <laughs> I was too busy spinning to even see what was going on. Okay, I'm going to have to use my missiles more often here. There we go. So, you can see the the reticle is where your machine gun's going to fire, but you can also see little indicators for when you've locked on with a missile. However, when you tap B, it just launches one of those missiles, so... That was actually a really quick, really quick game, of course, not knowing how to play right off the bat, playing blind is, it's not surprising to me. There have been plenty of games where I've died within the first few minutes, or even completely drained all of my lives and had to continue. Okay, this is just silly. Somebody's got to get taken out. I mean, they got out of the way. Out of range! Wow. It's really hard to to look out for those. Okay, so select pauses to start. Start seemed to give me a little bit of a boost, maybe? Oof. You can only really get hit once. So, start. No, maybe not. Maybe it was just a sound effect I heard when I hit start. It seemed like I got a boost. Start doesn't seem to do anything. So what it's... Seems like it's going to be a good strategy is to lock onto a couple and immediately fire missiles while aiming at the others of the machine gun. Instead of making it to stage two, lock on! Maybe I'm out of missiles? Nope, there we go. Take them out. Thank you. I'm not exactly sure how many missiles I have. I don't see any. I don't see any numbers on the screen except for when I'm in between stages, so maybe I have to. Keep count. Maybe they're unlimited. I doubt they're unlimited, but that would be an interesting strategy as well. I was playing conservatively with them in the first uh, first couple minutes, so let's go ahead and try a missile-heavy strategy. See how many we have. So far, so good. I haven't had anything telling me I'm running out yet. Nope. Ah. I guess if, if I see that a missile's onto me, I just need to bank heavily and hope that I can initiate that barrel roll. <laughs> because it just kind of triggers automatically very often. There also seems to be no reason not to just hold the A button, unless it's slowing me down. Sometimes when they fire a missile directly at you from, from in front, if you're not moving around very much, that missile is completely hidden by your ship. I'm launching missiles at nobody. Ah, he got away. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. If only I knew how to actually skillfully pull off the barrel roll without it have happening luckily. Maybe if I could try to dive while turning? No. I don't know. It just kind of does it. Left, right, left, right. Just wobbles the screen. Headache inducing. No, barrel roll, barrel roll. Maybe just banking will work. That's fine. Alright, so... If you play a little bit more missile heavy than I was before. No missile! Ah! 
Am I over trees? Wow, actually, are those houses and trees? I'll give this one more shot. I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. We take off from the USS Tengen Enterprise. So this is, uh, like I was saying, this is a little bit better than the claustrophobic feel that you get in the cockpit of, you know, some of the earlier flight sim, fighter jet sims. This isn't exactly a... Oh, come on, I was in the middle of a barrel roll and it still got me. <laughs> this isn't exactly a dog fighting simulator. Everything's still just kind of flying by willy-nilly. I don't get the feeling that I've had any intense one-on-one -on -one situations. Now, granted, later on, that could happen, I suppose. But so far, these other jets are just kind of kamikaze, or maybe not kamikaze so much as just kind of dumb cannon fodder. It's almost like I'm invisible, and they launch missiles, and the missiles know where I'm at, because they're not really firing anything else at me, except for the occasional missile but it doesn't really seem smart on their part to just kind of fly by. No! There we go. No. Barrel roll when I don't want to. Ah, I didn't even see that one. You know, like, three-fifths of all the planes just fly by without even launching a missile. Again, I don't really see those until the very last minute. Well, that was kind of a quick one, but, you know, I've continued maybe five times there, so... I don't think I'm going to get much more out of this one, but I like it. Um, I would just continue to play it the same way that I have been. It would be very arcadey, and uh, and I, I don't think my experience would improve very much unless I sat here for a few hours just, you know, absorbing the muscle memory, you know, that, uh, that it would take to get really skillful at it. Now here's, you know, in this demo, he's more skillfully using the machine gun, but honestly, I don't think I could pull that off without without, um, you know, taking those missiles directly on. Now, he seems to dive... I don't know, he seems to bank and, and dive uh, to get away from those missiles, but... Anyway, that's Afterburner. I'll see you guys next time.